57 miles west of Cleveland, a child was born who grew up to be the genius who changed the world and certainly affects your life every minute. That genius, his invention, and his hometown are the focus of My Ohio with Leon Bibb. Here's Leon with the story. You know, ladies, I often joke that were it not for Thomas Edison, we would be watching television in a dark room. A joke, but you get the idea. Let's make another stop in My Ohio to the place where Thomas Edison was born. From childhood, the kid who would grow up to be the great inventor Thomas Edison did not hear very well. Maybe that's why Edison spent so much time on recording sound. Inventor of the phonograph, Edison got the world tapping a toe to the time of the music. So Thomas Edison brought music into our home. He did bring music into our homes. His first intention with the phonograph was to record the human voice. Edison was born in the quiet Erie County community of Milan, Ohio in 1847. Still tranquil, Milan, population 1400, seems in some ways a throwback to a slower time. Likenesses of hometown inventor Edison are abundant, especially in this house, now a museum. Tom Edison was born here. In his childhood, Edison lost most of his hearing, perhaps fueling an inventive interest in sound. Edison's great-great-grandnephew hails the phonograph as Edison's greatest invention. That's the one that changes the way we think because you, it's like a time machine. You've taken something that happened and you can bring it into the present. Edison and his inventions are celebrated in Milan. Next door to his birthplace is a burning bulb, a replica of one of Edison's early ones. It is a lighted pathway to the past. But in the house itself, there is one of Edison's early bulbs, not the one, but a bulb shortly after. Though it works, the museum does not power it up. There are several light bulbs of this type that are actually working um, in other museums. I know there's one in a fire station in Texas that I've personally seen that's been burning for over 120 years. It's never been shut off. Edison holds nearly 1,100 patents, among them an apparatus for filming and projecting movies. He made movies. These are from the 1890s. You are viewing history. Savor these images, for they are the great-great-grandfathers of today's movies. The time is 1870, and we are approaching the evening hour. The only light in the room is the daylight coming in the window. In the evening, we will have candlelight. But in 1879, along comes Thomas Edison, and he invents the electric light. And everything changes. 134 years later, we are still in the age of Edison. Much of today's technology grew directly from Edison inventions. Though he lived in Milan only a few years, in his birthplace, you feel an Edison energy. It was here his earliest seeds of discovery and invention were planted by his mother, who saw her son tinkering with contraptions and toying with ideas. Ohio's Tom Edison would become the most prolific inventor of all time. Edison never gave up on an idea, teaching us all... Keep going. You find out what doesn't work and just keep moving. Did he learn that in this house? I'm sure he did, from his mom. A statue in Milan pays tribute to mother and son. Appropriate, because though Edison did not begin inventing here, the mindset for inquiry and discovery was born here by a mother who taught her son to seek ways to create a better world. That Thomas Edison did in many, many ways. Edison died at the age of 84 in 1931. Before Edison, we lived in the shadows, but along came Thomas Edison and he invented that electric light and he blew light into it. And everything changed. We've not been the same ever since and we won't be because we've got light. He saw the light, so do you. Live on 5, I'm Leon Bibb, My Ohio.